This is question five of the paper one in grade 10 exam. And here we go. Consider this pattern. It's 11, and then it's 4, and then it's minus 3. Is negative 283 a term in the sequence? you got to show all your working. Okay. This is going down by 7 here, and it's going down to 7 again. Hey, that is a linear sequence, uh, arithmetic sequence, we call it. But it's got a common difference. It's going down by the same amount. It's going down by 7. And that's half of your answer. The formula is minus 7n. Then all you have to do is think of a number that would be before 11. That's the first term. What if there was the term called t0 before the first term? Well, it'd have to be 18. So you could go down 7 and hit 11. And that's the number you put there, plus 18. Gee, we got the formula. How oh, nice. Now all we do is we take negative 283 and put it in for a term. Now we're going to see if this term exists. So we put minus 283. What we do, we add it to 18. We get 301. We divide by 7, and we get 43. So yes, negative 283 is a term. OK, let's look at this. Here we've got a pattern. It's 2, and then there's 6, and then there's 12. But, gee, I look at this, and there's different ways. How many dots in the next pattern? But, you know, the thing is, to do this question, you can think of that's two rows and one column, and then two columns and three rows, and then three columns and four rows. So it's kind of one by two, two by three, three by four, it kind of makes sense that the next one would be, if, we're, if we write the pattern down like that, then it's easy to see the next term. 2 by 1, 3 by 2, 4 by 3. This should be one bigger and that one bigger. 5 by 4, it's 20. So there should be 20 dots there in the next pattern. That's your answer. But how is it working? If you have, this is n, that's n plus 1. n times n plus 1. So it's 1 times 1 plus 1. Uh, 2 times 2 plus 1. So that's the general formula, n times n plus 1. And that's all there is to it. Then it says, hence or otherwise, how many dots would be in the 2001st um, pattern? Well, if you got this thing and you see, it must be 2001 times 2002, which is 40,000. 602, and that's it. This one's easy if you see the pattern, and pretty darn hard if you don't. And it's easy to miss it. But there you go. That's how it works.